What is up everybody, it's Vicious here, and I wanted to talk about the DNF Dual Cube system that they're working on. Uh, cube Selection is their working title, they're probably going to change it, but it could remain Cube Selection. So um, this is what I wanted to talk about on my last video, but I couldn't find like the actual photos of it. Uh, they didn't really show it in action, but this is a new system that we're getting when Spectre comes out. Uh, select a cube from two choices before a fight, which will decide the, your awakening effect. And what this reminded me of off the bat was Street Fighter Third Strike, and also uh, a little bit of Street Fighter Alpha, um, because basically it changes how your super works and how your awakening works. And me and Jax Vex actually had a lot of words about this before, where we wanted a system change so you could actually access super before dying, because it's a really like staunch. Um, activation uh, um, a requirement that you got to have like 30% of your life left. I don't really like that. Um, you know, that's one of the few things about DNF Duel that I'll say that, yeah, I wish they would have did something different with it, and they are. So, yeah, uh, a cube, a material with magical power that is used to make skills powerful. It appears when entering awakening effect. And so I I'll talk more about the cubes from DFO here in a second and why I'm so excited about this. But, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, uh, clear cube functions basically the same way that uh, the original buffs worked uh, for vanilla DNF duel, which at 30% of your life, which you can see over here, this is 30%. At 30% of your life, you would get um, basically some small buffs, right? Um, like Striker, for instance. Striker got a damage buff, right? Um, over here, you see the Striker gets a damage buff and a guard break buff i believe it is so this was new as of um as of like the the last patch the grand patch um and in the first patch she should have just got the i think it was just the strength buff if i'm not mistaken um but yeah with a with a blah, blah, damn it <laughs> clear cube clear cube and awakening effect is activated when 50 percent uh, HP or less that's when your HP is at 50% or less I mean and that's cool because it puts a little bit of uh, not a little bit of pressure but it gives you a little bit of an augmented playstyle uh, in a certain sense like for instance uh, clear cube with striker sounds good but she's gonna miss out on that sweet uh, guard break energy right but she already did break guard pretty well in a vanilla patch but then again it's been increased so there's a little bit of complications here and you know hopefully they make it so you know it's worth keeping this right and i think that they would um because striker is already really strong and having her strength buff uh halfway through her life is going to be really dangerous because if you really think about it she can tod some of the characters or at least take a, a lot of life when she has uh that much energy um well that much energy i mean 170 meter when she has that much energy like imagine uh you know just having that strength buck earlier you know because some people might drop a combo in between the 50 percent to the 30 percent you never know it might not happen like in uh more advanced gameplay but it's gonna happen a couple of times you know uh let's see an awakening effect all right read that sorry clear cubes awakening effect is weaker compared to gold cubes uh, awakening effect and gold cube a powerful awakening effect activated at 30 percent hp or less as you can see some characters original awakening effect will be applied to clear cube with more powerful awakening uh, effects set for gold cube oh see i did not read that part so basically that means that her strength buff will be better at 30 percent than it would at 50 percent so she might not have that strength but any little bit but any little bit of a buff is still like really killer <laughs> uh for striker and i'm just thinking about other characters because so, ghost blade ghost blade's original buff was there was a chance that he would do critical damage and i think they just changed it to just doing extra damage in general so being able to do extra damage in general at 50 percent versus doing more than that extra damage at 30 percent and being able to run faster and do more i think it was guard stamina damage 
interesting like i don't know how i'm going to sort out my characters i just know that enchantress is going to be annoying to figure out because she herself uh, what was her original but her original buff was she could she would spend less resources uh moving the bear around basically which is hard for me to quantify like while playing with her like i don't really feel a difference um i also don't feel a difference when she has her latest buffs like you know dragon knight when dragon knight has her buffs and awakening it feels like she has unlimited meter same thing with inquisitor because they both gain meter back very fast and enchantress is supposed to have that but it just does not feel like it so hopefully when they do the balance patch that they're intending to do um they also work on you know the the, the awakening buffs and they uh nerfed launcher to hell because of jack's vex but anyway that's all i had to say i really had to put this video out probably gonna try and do a paul breakdown or a paul um reaction video now uh later